Well, testing would have to confirm each rabbit's cause of death. We know that this virus was first confirmed here in southern Nevada in the summer. Now the Nevada Department of Wildlife says that they are seeing a jump in the numbers. The disease is called rabbit hemorrhagic disease. Um, it is caused by a virus. We are certainly getting a lot more reports now. It has now been detected in both wild and domestic bunnies in all regions of the state, southern, eastern, and western Nevada. RHDV2 originated in Europe and showed up in the U.S. last spring in the Silver State in June. Because it's a new disease, we're still finding out a lot of how it affects our uh, North American species of rabbits. It has a high mortality rate in domestic rabbits, 80 to 90 percent. In our wild rabbits, it seems a little more variable. Um, some areas you might see really high mortality. Saturday night, I had taken my dog out and she seemed very entranced by this one area of our backyard, which was dark. So I took a flashlight and went over there and I found a dead bunny rabbit. Skip Schifrin, who lives in Henderson near Stephanie and Horizon Ridge, says there was no bite marks or blood on the animal and he didn't know how it died. The next morning at 630, my wife comes into our room and says there's another one out there. Concerned, Schifrin posted on Nextdoor. And I was amazed how many people responded from this entire area and even a little bit beyond that they too are finding dead rabbits. But a lot of times they're dead without any clinical signs. The Department of Wildlife says the virus won't spread to people or dogs or cats. But if you own a pet rabbit, now is the time to be extra cautious. If you are, say, hiking in an area where you know rabbit hemorrhagic disease has been, um, you know, especially if you have a rabbit that say, has free range of your house, you want to make sure you're removing your shoes. You're not tracking in soil. This virus is incredibly hardy. It can live, you know, up to 100 days potentially in carcasses. And Endow says it's always a good idea to avoid touching any dead animal and to keep your pets away from them, especially your dogs. They say if you do find a dead rabbit, they certainly want to hear about it so it can potentially be tested. They say that the public is their eyes and their ears tracking this deadly virus. Reporting live tonight in Henderson, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.